Active Drums has gone into the studio and they've perfectly recorded professional live drum kits and put them in a plug-in. Sounds great. What I'm going to show you today is how to remap those drums so you can put the snare drum anywhere on the keyboard, you can put the kick drum anywhere on the keyboard, your hi-hats or any other, other instruments, map them anywhere on your keyboard or on your MPC pad. And this is how you do it. Okay, it's going to vary depending on the program that you use, your DAW, Digital Audio Workstation. But this is Logic 8, and we are in the environment window. And what we want to do is have one instrument channel that's empty and the other instrument channel with addictive drums on it. So after we've got that far, we go under New, we go down three spaces to Mapped Instruments, and we're going to get two things. We're going to get a bubble with some bars and the names of the keys and where they are among the keyboard. We're going to get what's called a mapped instrument icon. I'm going to put that over there. The first thing we want to do is we want to set up this icon to do its job. So we're going to click on the icon. At the right side, you'll see a little like a cable. You just click hold, cable pops up, you drag the cable over to your addictive drum channel first. When that lights up, you let it go. It's going to give you a bubble that says, shall we just remove the port setting? And you just say, yeah, remove it. Then we go to the right side of the empty instrument channel. The top right, there's another little cable. We click and hold on that cable, it comes up. We drag it down to the, inst the mapped instrument icon. It lights up, boom. Then we go over to our regions. You can't see it right now. And you, you just put your cursor on the region, which is the blank instrument channel. And then you hit your drums, and you see that there are, you're getting a sound, and you're not actually on the, you're not actually, your cursor is not on the addictive drums channel. It's on the, it's on the empty instrument channel. The empty instrument channel is controlling the addictive drum channel. So now this is where we do our mapping. So on C1 we have the kick, but we want the kick on C2, an octave higher. So we click on C2 and the bubble, the bubble automatically says you're on C2. So we take the bar and we drag it till we find the sound that we want to put there. And we want to snip, we want to kick. There's our kick. Now we want this snare, which is on E1, we want that on E2. So we go to E2, and we find a snare, there's a snare, and then on F sharp 2, we want a closed hat, we have an open hat, there's kind of a closed hat, and there we are, the drums are mapped, now we can do, we can do, we can do what we want. So there you go. So go have fun, Addictive. kids. Addictive! Addictive drums! Check it out!